All right, guys, I'm here at the Mini Racer. Um, obviously, you can tell by the title of the video what I'm doing. Uh, we are going to, more and more problems have come up with this five horse brakes, so we're going to fix it real quick. Um, it will not run very well, like it'll run for a second on starting point, it'll run for a little while, and it'll die out. Uh, but I've gone straight to conclusions. Yeah, I think it's this thing. This is one I picked up at the junk yard a while back. You can see it's just destroyed. Anyway, we're gonna pull this off. I'll show you guys how to change this. One tool was needed. Possibly two. Get a flat blade screwdriver. Okay, we're gonna screw this. I made it easier to pull the air filter off. There we Okay, now most of them, if you're trying to replace one on an older one, they're not going to pop off like that. You're going to take a little hammer and that screwdriver, and it'll simply just line it up right around there when it's installed. You're just going to tap it. Tap the hammer. Hit it. Just tap it. It'll easily just pop right apart. You see why? She was sticking a little bit, and I just had it apart not long ago. Last week, we called Okay. Well, this actually looks really good, this diaphragm. Well, maybe not. I haven't looked at it very well. Okay. See how that's deformed a little bit? It's pushed out. Nothing like that one, but... You know, so I looked at hold up in a light. And look. If there's any light comes through, it's just some dusting. So that's probably good. So I don't know what's wrong with this thing. We're going to try it. You can see, actually, you can see right there. It's eroded. Really bad. Then this little flap here is busted up pretty bad. Anyway, so, let's put her on there. So we can up. The old stuff in there. See, they use the same spring setup. So they use this little spring setup that makes the fuel pump somewhat work. That's what this is. Alright. Check and make sure these passages are clean, which these ones are. I just cleaned the car right out last weekend. You see how it's completely flat. Amazing how thin this part is, it's nothing like the original. But, you know, it could just be so hard and crispy. Alright, it's going to be a little hard for me to do here, guys, so bear with me. Right. Right. Filming videos to you guys isn't always the easiest thing. Yes, I'm using the igniter for a torch right now. To hold the camera or to hold the gun up. It is a support. Well, alright, let's just do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stack this little spring in the 
flanged washer piece together. A flange, I don't know what you call it. And we'll sit right in the car. It's gonna be really hard to do because I have to hold this thing. Okay. Diaphragm, make sure it's aimed the right way. Going like that. And it's got these two little holes. So we'll go ahead and try to line this up. Just like so. Actually, this one only has one. I've seen some that have two holes. So watch out for that. See this one isn't the exact model, but it doesn't matter. See it's got a couple extra holes on it for different models. It's a universal part. So that's kind of nice. You have the wrong one. You don't want to worry about with this one. Sorry about the noise from the heater, it's cold. It's currently raining, it's supposed to turn to snow. So maybe I can do a snow ride for you guys, another one. Depends on how much comes down. back on straight pipe well it's got off on the end but it's a header set up you guys are starting up but I don't really want to get the stinger down right, or the uh, tripod down right now so I want to end it here for you guys thanks for watching if this video helps you guys out leave a like down below and uh, leave a comment down below and uh, let me know what you're working on thanks for watching guys see you next video